Hey everyone, this is an Alcohol Free Life channel where we're learning to live sober one day at a time. If you can take a second, can you please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to smash that like button. I'd really appreciate it. My name is Terry G and thank you very much for stopping by. Before I get into the video, I just wanna say kudos to everybody out there for staying sober for another 24 hours. Being sober, no matter what life throws at us, is fantastic and I say I applaud you and I just want to say accomplishment well done well done sobriety is about commitment no matter what life throws at us it's about staying committed to your journey of recovery and to my journey of recovery because without recovery without staying off the booze and drugs there is no hope and I have absolutely no life my life goes down to shitter really really quick okay so kudos to everybody watching today and I, and I want you to all have another great 24 hours of recovery what this video is about today this video is about putting the cart before the horse or what are your priorities in early recovery and when I say when I talk about people in this video I'm referring to myself too early recovery was was exciting it was new it was refreshing all those sort of things but I put the cart before the horse. My priorities in early recovery were really, really off center. They really, really were. And some of those priorities were like this. When I sobered up, I wanted to get a better job, make up for lost time when it came to wages. So I just didn't get one full-time job. I got a full-time job and a part-time job. I got two jobs, believe it or not. Three times a week was the part-time one. It was a cleaner of a hardware store, believe it or not. So I had to make up for lost time when it came to money. The second one, I needed to go to the gym and get in shape, you know, start running, eating properly, get that body all nice and buff. That was priority. That was really big priority to me because after all, I did abuse my body for so many years and I needed to get back in shape, right? Another one that everybody knows anyways when they hear these, when they've heard other videos, is I can't read and write properly. So I need to go back for some education. So that was really important. So here's me, two jobs, one full-time, one part-time, going to the gym regularly, and now I'm going to school part-time. It was an adult learning school. I went there twice a week and to learn English. That's what I did. And then the last one there, the fourth one, was like the, you know, the, the grand poobah of all priorities, I needed to be in a relationship. So after all, I'm sober now and I'm a gift to women and I need to be in a relationship. That's what I need. That's where my priorities lie in early recovery. There is a lot more, you know, like get a car and all that kind of stuff, a decent place to live. But they were my main ones in very early recovery. And guess what happened to me? Guess what happened to me? I relapsed at nine months. And at 14 months, I relapsed and ended up in jail with assault. And if you were listening for the first part of this video, there was no mention about recovery, was there? That wasn't priority. That was just something I did off on the side. Maybe one day a week, I would do that. And if I did, it was just go there to live off the fellowship. I didn't give the same priorities that I did to rebuilding my life, that I did to rebuilding my life in recovery and I fell flat on my ass. I really did. I thought if I got a job, I got the girlfriend, I got some education, I got some money you know, in my pocket, things would be better, sobriety would be better, my days would be okay. And they were okay, I looked okay, I had nice clothes, I always looked well groomed, but inside I was dying. I had mental issues going on, I had emotional issues going on, spiritual issues going on. I was a train wreck. I look good, but inside I was a train wreck because my priorities were misled or off center. And if you can relate to that, if you're doing that and you're working on getting a job, all those things are important. Don't get me wrong. They're all important, but they're important at the right times. In early sobriety, especially the first year or even the second year, our priority should be on our recovery journey. Getting better emotionally, learning how to live with stress, learning how to make good decisions, feeling more emotionally stable, fully, fi, um, feeling more um, mentally stable. Because if those things are intact, if you feel whole and you feel good about yourself, 
all those other things will come to you. You'll have to work for them a little bit, but they'll come much easier. And when you get them, you'll feel better about yourself and you'll be able to handle them better because you'll be more equipped in your recovery life. Without recovery, without first my recovery, I don't have a job. I don't have a relationship. I'm not able to get better educated. I'm not willing to go to the gym or pay a gym membership or drive a car. Doing all those things. Our priority has to be our sobriety. Simple, easy, that's it. And you will see what happens in your life. Don't fool yourself by thinking all these other things are number one. Everything in my life is number two because my sobriety, my emotional, my mental, and my spiritual health are number one to me. Health is wealth. Sobriety is wealth. Sobriety is grounding. It's a great way to live. If you're having problems in your life, take a look at your program. Maybe you need to bump up your meetings, talk to your sponsor more, do some service work, get more active in the program, but keep your sobriety in the main lens of your eyes, the main lens of your glasses if you wear them, and your life will change dramatically. Change dramatically. You're probably saying to yourself, what does an old man know about the way I live? Well, I'm gonna tell you something. If it wasn't for sobriety, I wouldn't be an old man doing these videos. I drugged and drank myself into oblivion on a daily basis. I wouldn't have made it from 45 years old. But thanks to sobriety, I'm here in the YouTube times, doing videos, sharing my experience, strength and hope with you to help you build, help build awareness and to say to you that you are worth your sobriety. You are worth it. You are worth having a great life. You really, really are. So priority number one is your sobriety. You do that and everything that you need or want around you will come to you over time on God's speed, okay? My name is Terry G. This is an alcohol-free life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time. If you can take a second, can you please leave a comment below? I'd really appreciate it. But if you can't do that, can you please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that like button, okay? We'll see you next week. Thank you very much for stopping by. And remember, we're in this together. Together, we can get sobriety. Together, we can be strong and give each other hope and faith and hold each other up in times of need, okay? Like I said, I'm Terry G. God bless. Take it one day at a time. Ciao for now. Over and out.